Today we're going to talk about the round turn two half hitch and the anchor hitch. My name's Lazarus Redbay, and this is the Dutchie.com. Both of these are simple variations on two half hitches, which improves how firmly they grip the anchor point. First, find something you'd like to tie, and something you'd like to tie it to. So, you have a rope and you want to anchor it to something. The classic way of doing that is just with two half hitches. You just go around, make one half hitch, tighten it in, and make a second half hitch, and tighten that one in, like that. The round turn two half hitches is just a regular two half hitch with an extra twist, like this. Take your ends, put them around your anchor point, like that. Before you tie it off with two half hitches, go around a second time, like this. That's the difference. Now you can do the same thing where you put your fingers inside that loop, bring the tail around the standing line, make your half hitch, put your fingers back here to lock it off so it doesn't loosen while you're tightening your half hitch. That, and then do the same thing again where you have your tail, put your fingers under it, over top of the standing line, feed the ends to those fingers, pull it through, and tighten. That is the round turn to half hitch, and it's very, very strong. Now let's say you're trying to tie this and you have quite a lot of rope to use up. It is okay to slip this. So when you're doing that half hitch, instead of pulling that tail all the way through, you can leave a little bit of the tail on this end, then grab that whole hank and tighten it in. Like that, so you're tightening in four strands instead of two. Then once you have that first half hitch done, you do the second half hitch with all four of those strands, like this. That will still hold just fine, and it leaves these ends looking a little less messy. If you have even more rope to use up, you can do that same thing, but slip the second half hitch as well, leaving the bites on the other side and then tightening it in like that. Still very, very strong and leaves less mess up here to deal with. Now, if you do this version of it, when you're done with it, you can find the place where it's just these two ropes, these two bites, and you can use the slip feature to get it untied quite quickly. The anchor hitch is also very similar to what we just did. It has one additional tweak. This time, we're gonna go around, and as we're wrapping around, we're gonna put our fingers between the rope and the pole to do that second wrap, like that. Those fingers are now positioned to receive the tail for our first half hitch, like this. So that is the main difference between the round turn to half hitch and the anchor hitch. With the anchor hitch, that first half hitch is going inside of that cuff of rope that's going around the thing you're anchoring to. You do tighten this one a little differently. Go to that set of lines that's connected to your half hitch, this one right here. Pull those ones tight first. That's tightening the cuff around the anchor point. Then pull on the tail to tighten the half hitch like that. Once that's done, go around again to add your second half hitch to lock it off tightly. Just like with the round turn two half hitch, if you have quite a lot of rope left over here, you can slip this second hitch. So there you have it, the round turn two half hitch and the anchor hitch. My name's Lazarus Redmayne. This is the Dutchie.com. We hope you learned a little something. And thank you, as always, for your support. First, find something you'd like to tie, and something you'd like to tie it to.